Alrighty, we got... We got the model set up. Hold on, let me just... Up! There we go! Alright. I just realized how large the text is. We're gonna... Do that. There we go. Somewhere around there. There we go. There we go. Alright. So we're working we're working on some more OCs. I I don't know, man. I can't stop myself. I'm a gremlin. Like ye, apparently. And welcome in sound alerts. It only took you three minutes to show up again. <laughs> but yeah, so we're working on one of my characters. Um Momo's model is almost done. Somehow the nose got messed up though. So, you know what, actually, we'll work on Momo's now, um, because it's just me. No, not you. Not you. No, 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 stop that. I did not want to open that. I wanted to open up Momo's model, not, not the PSD file for the mouth, uh, chart I use. Well, I wanted world domination, got told no, Disneyland. Look! Look, you can have Disneyland when I take over the world. I don't care. I'm not a fan of Disney, so you can have it. Okay, Momo. Momo, I need... I don't need your blush. I need your nose because I messed up. Because your face is messed up around here. Not that you're messed up, Momo. It's just everything else. Rayo wants Disneyland, I just want alcohol. <laughs> Jesus, man. Here, why aren't Oh, that's why. That's why. Are you gonna show up now? Now you show up. Okay. And then you disappear here. This is why I hate art meshes. And uh, the draw order. I hate the draw order thing. Okay, you're fine there. You are not fine here, are you? Probably not. Yeah. Alright, uh, and then when this is done, I can- I don't have to reset up everything, I just need to re-download the model. And then... Momo gets, uh, brought in over to Momo. Yeah, I didn't realize it was the nose until I went to go check up on the model. And then I realized, oh, the nose is not there. So there we go, Momo has her nose again. So we can just save. And then work on, um, my- my other- my other girl. Because, um, I don't know, uh, if I'm going to have the time for our D&D campaign to make a better model for her. So, um, I got my lovely DM, uh, aka Uriel on my Discord. Um, to make me a chibi model for her. Because, look at her! She's- she's adorable! She's- she's so cute. I- I love her. She's- mwah, She's- she's- she's everything to me. Here, you know what? I'm gonna pull up some of, um, the art, uh, that Uriel has made of her. Because, um, chibi form does not do her beauty justice. It just- it just doesn't. And then we'll- we'll put them around and stuff, and while we're working on her, we'll keep up the whole, like, Oh, the art's all done by Uriel, because... 
Man, man does incredible art. And then we'll get started on her model. There she is. Oh, Jesus. Goddamn Christ. Okay. Calm down. You don't- you don't need to be that big. And then we'll just crop it so it fits. And then there we go, and then... there we go. Yeah. Fun times. Is that all of it? Yeah. Then we just go whoop. Then we put her here. Uh, we are working on, um, some of the first batches, uh, for the D&D models. My voice is, like, not dying, because I don't feel bad. I just, ah, you know? We don't, we don't have screaming energy today, I don't think. And these guys together. I mean... I'm fine, it's just... Oh man, I don't have energy to be super loud. Which, I mean, is not the worst thing. I think that's a blessing for a few people. Yeah, though, so this is Jennifer. A.K.A. Uh, just Jen. So we have all of her model to work on. And then, and then the best part of this model, man, the best part, not only her cute little face, but also, also, wait for him, wait for him, he's loading, wait for him, man takes a while, there you go, look at him, I, I love this little man, I love him, look at, he's, he's so silly, Like, he's so silly, man. Oh, her hair's not that bad, okay. Yeah, her hair's not that bad. Uriel kept telling me that her hair was an absolute mess, so I was actually kind of worried, but it seems fine. So we're gonna do the eyes first, because uh, those are the easiest. Oh yeah, and she's got her little expressions too, so she can cry, which is really sad. It's really sad, man, but that's gonna show up a lot. And I feel only slightly bad. Do we want to do the eyeballs? You know what? Yeah, we'll get them out of the way.
Yeah, and then we might be working on art later, potentially. I hate that you- it picks up on when I sniffle. I hate that, man. I'm not a fan of that, man. Real not a fan. Alright. Yeah, though. So, yeah. You know, I'm tempted to just non-stop talk about uh, how much I love Uriel's art. I love it. I love it so much. Like, uh... This, I'm pretty sure, is Uriel's second attempt at a live 2D model. No, it's his third. Um, his second is his own model. And then uh, he's gonna uh, learn how to start doing rigging. So I'm very happy for him about that. I don't think it's gonna work like that. Not with her, um, eyelashes. Which sucks. Penis! Hey, virus! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That actually kind of scared me. I was I was not ready for sound alerts that right there. Jesus. Alright. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do it like that, which is kind of annoying. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. Why are you in my house in the first place? How did you get stuck? Do I want to know? I can't read, bro. I'm... We've been over this virus. I am severely dyslexic. I can't read. <laughs> you know, I should really put on the, um, the ghost dubs clip. You have 10, so we're gonna up you to like. I mean, we'll go with the 20. Okay. 
Will that work now? I don't know. We're we're testing things out today. Okay, can the rest of your eye just hide real quick? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I can I can live with this model being somewhat um like I don't want to say bad because I I love Uriel's art. I love it. I can live with this model being a little bit uh wonky because it's a chibi, but I will feel awful cuz I'll feel like I'll I've ruined Uriel's art, you know. Alright, and then we just... not you, you. There we go. Okay, why are you attached to everything else? It still plays with stuff, so I don't know why it does that. Okay, that's not too weird when it uh, closes. I will say the eyelashes will be annoying, though, like these ones. Actually, will they be? Was I was I exaggerating a bit? I think I was exaggerating a bit. These were fine. I think if anything, I'm just going to need to individually move that one, which isn't a problem. Alrighty. There we go.
That is not the same ID. I don't know why you're saying it is. It's not. Okay, what if I change your ID? <laughs> what if I change it? Will it work then? Will you work then if I change the ID? Sometimes I hate this program, man. Sometimes I hate it. Okay, most of the time. Most of the time I hate this program. Okay, what if we... Oh! That's why, that's why. Okay, I understand what the fuck I'm doing. I'm... Am I that delirious today? Like, Jesus Christ. I think I'm that delirious! Where I'm not putting things in the clipping layer. I mean, it wouldn't matter anyway. We're getting rid of your eye. That sounds traumatizing. That's... That is what we're doing, but that's not what we're doing. Okay, and we can't just do that. But we can just do that. Which, I mean, works for everybody in the end. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. So what if we just take you, and when we get here, I'm not a fan of how, like, that transitions. I think actually what I'm complaining about can just be solved around here. So.
Okay, that's better. I like that. And then we're gonna do the thing that never shows up. Unfortunately. Can you blink so I can see what it's like just randomly? Okay, yeah. Just testing that randomly. Uh, seems fine. It seems, like, mostly good, for the most part. Maybe. I don't know. We're gonna hope. We're gonna just sit here and hope. Uh, Uriel just noticed I'm working on her rig. I mean the character, not Uriel. I love whenever I don't mention anyone's, like, any of my characters' names on stream, though, until, like, randomly just- Oh yeah, this is their name. I will not be referring to them as this, though. I- I love that. Alright. You know what? I might grab, um, my drawing tablet from the other room, uh, and just have that here so I don't have to grab it later. And then when we get here, we're gonna do my favorite thing, and that's just shrinking the hell out of the pupils. And then it messes up everything for a bit, which is weird, and I don't know why it does that. Why are you- oh, that's why. Why are you doing that? Well, you see, you set it up to do that. Oh yeah, it does that, though. You know what? We'll worry about that later. I'll make it a toggle, probably, instead. Just because whenever I use um, that on a model that I'm testing, um, it never actually works great because it doesn't recognize my eyes um, going wider. For some reason, it just does not. And then, we're going to do something kind of scary. Just a little, just a little frightening.
You're gonna take all of this and just copy and paste. Unfortunately, they all say L though, which I can change. I just don't want to. <laughs> And hold on, we're gonna move that over here so I can actually reflect it. Reflect with all of these. There we go. You know what? And we'll move you over here. And you know what? We will grab my drawing tablet. We're gonna do that real quick. Apparently, I didn't realize that my foot fell asleep, so when I when I got up to start walking to grab my drawing tablet, it went into the weird stinging phase. God fucking damn it! Also, hello, hi, welcome. Sorry, you have to show up while I'm like, my fucking ow! It's, it's great, though. Alright, so... Take all of you. Uh, reflect. And then you're all messed up, which is funny, but... There we go. Now, she's just a pair of eyes, which is terrifying, but... You know, I'm really excited for um, the campaign that she's going to be in for, um, for like this model that I'm going to use. Real excited for that. I will say I am kind of 
Um, I don't want to say scared, but a little scared of um, how it's going to go. Okay, great. Now that you're all separated, I need to separate you again. One more time. There we go. So now they can move on their own. That depends. Like, that depends on how old you are because, um, I technically I would be older um, for the adoption length, but I don't know, man. They also say that I'm twins with Nana. And yet, you know, I'm like, I think two, maybe one or two years older than them. So here we are. Alright. Okay, I think she's- she's not bad. Having her just decapitated is really terrifying, though. I will say that. I love her hair. I love how- I love how, um, Uriel drew her hair. I love it. I love it so much, man. And also, I would- I would like Cat Archimedes just- just for my streams. Just to have him. Just to have. I love how I haven't introduced any of these characters. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna just randomly mention them and hope you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. No, I want to- I want to adjust your size. No, I want to adjust the size of the box, please! <laughs> Probably! That might be it, too. I just want to shrink your box, I don't want to shrink you! No! I just want to shrink the box. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll start with this. I love this silly little guy. I love him. He's just so interesting, man. He's just... He's so interesting. All right, we got these done. I guess we could start doing uh, the head rig. Which means again, decapitation once more. And we're gonna move the neck out of here and just put it out here. Alright, I hit the bottom lid, so you won't have a bottom lid. Yeah, she doesn't have a bottom lid. 
I don't know, man. We'll add it back again later. Alright. Where are the eyes? No more eyes. No more. No more eyes. No more eye privileges. Oh, right, and she's got teeth, too! I'm saying that, like, I don't know that, but... It's been a while. Okay, it hasn't been a while. I just haven't looked at her model in a bit. So bad. I love it. It's so pretty, but I just haven't looked at it. Hey, if we could work, please, and let me add you to the layer. Oh, it's because most of you aren't seen. That's why. I am not the brightest tool in the shed. I'm I'm just a tool there, man. All right, and then the ears. I need to edit you so that you're behind the rest of the head and the hair, but then we need to edit you so that you're not all the way there. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what. What are you? What? What are you? What are you doing here? What? I don't know what that is. And then we also need the crying, which we'll put here. It's it's essential that we get the crying. It is essential. It is crucial we get the crying, man. Crucial. It is crucial. She has the ability to cry. It's real important, guys. Real important. Wait, what is it? What are you? Why are you awkward? What? Oh, that's why. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I actually think I'm going to give the tears its own thing. So that I can have it uh, move on its own.
actually thinking about it, um, because I know before I was like, I don't know if I would be able to make her new model in time, because this was just a temporary thing. I'd have to, because her design has technically changed. Well, it's it's not like her design has changed, it's just... Because of how, um... The uh, campaign that she lives in, like, that she's from, technically, uh, because of how that world functions, um, if she was originally, like, 20, I think I said 21, 22, uh, 10 years after, she's, like, 32, so I'd need to update her design. But I, I love her. I love her, man. I love her. I love her so much. Like, just... Mwah. I love her. I love her. I love the way Uriel draws her. I love her. She's she's a solid top pick for one of my favorites. Alright, there we go. So, that's the X angles. And then the hair needs to be done, but we'll do that after we do the Y angles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dogs. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys know what's happening, too. Glad we're all on the same page. I like how compared to my last few streams, like, this is just calm. Because most of the time I'm all over the place, but now it's like, okay, we'll, we'll be calm for a bit. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe it's my amount of love for this one character that I'm not just constantly screaming and my voice giving out too, but you know. Maybe maybe we'll say it's my love for her. <laughs> okay, we're 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 driving a little bit off the rails. Just by like, ah yes, my love for this one fictional character. Um 
for a woman that is in her like 30s and has a child. Sort of. I mean, would we count a murder of crows as children? Would we count a murder of crows as children? I don't think we'd count a murder of crows as children. I think the eyes slide to the side of it. Squish, 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 squish. Okay, there we go. Sometimes a family consists of a, um, yeah, a dropped out college student, um, a tired, dropped-out college student, and a murder of crows. Sometimes, sometimes that's all you need in a family, man. I'm not a fan of the fact the nose, like, lowers itself. You're meant to be, like, somewhat up. I'm tempted to just, um, get rid of the nose moving. For now. And then we'll fix it. Later. I'm convinced that that's just now my- my slogan that I've made for myself is just, We'll fix it later! And then I forgot. To move all of you into here, but I don't need to make your own warp deformer. Hooray for being lazy. <laughs> like when Papa broke my Yeah! That was an accident, I swear. It was an accident that happened when Momo was a baby. Hey, me saying that, I think, makes it worse if I'm like, it was an accident that happened when Momo was a baby. <laughs> Momo's leg accidentally went snap. It went snap, crackle, pop. Squish, 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 squish. All right, hair time, and then Archimedes time, actually. Hooray! I, bro, I love, I haven't talked enough about either of these two, but I love them both so much. Like, do I have a picture of Archimedes that's not one where he's a baby girl? Do I have one saved? Probably not, considering my DM only draws them as a baby girl. Uriel exclusively draws this man as a baby girl, and I don't understand why. I'm- okay, I do, but... Where is he? Where the- where... How has it been so long since we've talked about him? Okay, I have a picture of him when he's angry. Which just makes him kind of have toddler energy in a weird way. You know when toddlers get angry and it's weird and they're fussy? That's him. There you go. Enough explanation. <laughs> Th 
There's one of him as a cat boy, but not just a regular one. Do you guys want him as a cat boy? As like a reference image of uh, what this lad looks like? Because we have one of Jen on the stream. So I feel like it's only appropriate in a weird way. You know what? Yeah, sure. Well, why not? Why try to fight? <laughs> I was supposed to be like, why try to fight what God intended? I don't think God intended this. Jesus Christ, these images are large. There we go. There we go. This is the only image I will ever show of this lad until I have to rig his model. There you go. It explains so much and so little at the same time. You know what? And I'm sending a screenshot to um Enslow about what the hell is happening. Just, ah, yes, a perfectly normal stream. I will, I will not elaborate to him as to why these two are up here, other than I just... I, I, I love them. I love them both, man. Jesus fucking Christ. I send him the- I send him the screenshot, all he responds with is just... Meow. Just meow. God, fucking... Damn, man. I love... I... I love these characters, man. I love them. I... love them. I say that as, you know, I know exactly at least a decent amount of what is going to happen to them. And it will be mean and not nice. It'll be mean, not nice, and I will laugh. I will laugh hysterically as it happens. Also, for some reason, my computer is in Japanese for whatever reason. I... I don't know why. Just is. Jesus Christ, man.
She's kind of giving like Paper Mario energy and I actually kind of enjoy that. I love that. Can we get more Paper Mario VTubers, please? I think that's funny. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a... I'm adding something to quotes real quick on my Discord after I finish figuring out how to spell this word. You know what? We're we're just googling it. We're just googling the problem. So I know for a fact there's an M in this word, and I don't know where. <laughs> there we go. Hold on, hold on. I gotta... Alright, now let me put this- let me put this sentence, this wonderful sentence that Uriel writes. This amazing, amazing, incredible sentence. Jesus Christ. Good sir, what the fuck? Hey, hold on, let me... I feel like I'm committing a sin by putting this up here, but it's... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. There you go. An amazing sentence. I'm gonna cover this entire stream with everything cursed this man sends. And I'm adding that in quotes in the... And, um... In, um... The, the Discord, too. Because why not? I love that. I still don't understand. Why are you in Japanese? I don't know, man. My my computer's um I'm blanking on the word now. I don't know why, but um my computer's um like keyboard settings is stuck on Japanese and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't I didn't set it to that. Why are you like that?
Hey, Ralu. Hello, 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 hello. My voice is starting to give out, like... It's dying, man. It's dying. But I mean, we're still here. We're we're still doing our thing. Don't don't ask um what's happening with the stream. Why why certain things are here? I can't tell you. It's just things are happening, man. Intrusive thoughts are winning today. I need to edit the neck. It's fine though, we're all good for now. And then we're gonna section off all the bang stuff. Uh, this is Jennifer. I didn't even notice the bottom quad until you said that. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm glad it's not that noticeable. I'm so glad. Yeah, though, this is, um, this is one of our characters, uh, from the D&D &D campaign. Uh, specifically, she's, she's my girl. This is my girl. Uh, the second ever female D&D &D character I remember making. Why? Because I don't, I don't like doing it a lot. It, it, it makes me sad. Not that playing, um, female characters makes me sad. It's, it's, um, female characters with only she, her pronouns. It, that makes me sad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that. But yeah, I only I only ever have played two two female D&D characters. Um the first one was my first ever D&D character. That was back not when I was in denial of being trans, but like not exactly sure how to explain that to my friends and my family, so I just continued being like, "Yes, I am cis." Hello, I am a cis person. And look where that's gotten us now. Not far. You know, I, yep. I was about to be like, eh, I don't know, it's gotten us pretty far. No, no, it hasn't. Yeah, and I, I only played that character for, like, uh, a couple of sessions. Mostly because uh, my DM didn't DM for a long time. And then I only played male characters until... Yeah, until Jennifer was made, of which... Jennifer is technically uh, non-binary. Uh, she just defaults to she instead of they. So, it's another, well, technically, situation. And honestly, we, we stand a queen who can do that. We stand an all-pronouns type of gal.
<laughs> princess gender. <laughs> I don't know how I want to do her voice, but I'm. I think that'd be funny. One of her, one of her lines, just being like, "What's what's your gender?" A bitch on the fucking princess of genders. The best one. She is the ruler of all the genders. Your gender was stolen. Mm, yeah, it was her. It was- it was probably her. Will she give it back to you? No. No, you don't deserve it. That's why you didn't have it in the first place. She's not a benevolent ruler, she's rather cruel. She's just the Fae, I've realized. I've just... It's the Fae. She's also one of the older characters I've played, because, um, she's, like, 31 in the, uh, canon story. So, she's... She's- she's not- she's not little- little- little baby age. She is, in fact, a 31-year-old. A <laughs> new wife alert? No. No, no. She's in a happily complicated relationship. A very, very complicated relationship. A complicated relationship, um, with a cis man, I will let you know, with a cis man. I like how I'm like, with a cis man! A, but not, not a straight cis man. Just to make that clear. <laughs> I mean, for my characters, yeah, that's rare as hell. I almost never have them in relationships, and then uh, most of the time, they're never in a straight relationship. Because, I don't know, man, usually I have two characters that I'm like, eh, you guys could work. But yeah, so, uh, this is Jennifer. Her full name, if you for some reason are curious, is, uh, Jennifer, uh, Hardisley Firefly, uh, which is all combinations of, um, my favorite horror characters, because I love them. I love Jennifer from, um, Jennifer's Body, and I love, I love the, I love the, um, Firefly flam uh, family. God damn it. Okay. I, I have a new quote to add here now. Brand new quote to add. Hold on while I add that. But yeah, so... Yeah, Firefly is from... If I'm remembering this right, I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. And then... Um, oh, right. And then Hardisley is the last name of um, the final girl from Texas Chainsaw. 
There we go. New quote. Enjoy. Now I'm gonna put it right over these two just to indicate who the hell they are. Bio wife energy man and then woman from the Bible. There we go. Okay, I cannot see what I'm doing. If you could please just not do that. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, and then most of this is good. Most of this I can live with. But yeah, though. So, um, Jennifer. And then her... I don't want to say husband. But they... Or boyfriend or partner in general uh her roommate technically uh is archimedes uh i guess i don't know we've never said what like me and uh yuriel have never fully decided what type of relationship they should be called other than just friends with really weird benefits he's the nerd isn't he yes <laughs> yes he is They are kind of that, um, I've realized they are kind of like that one weird, um, I don't want to say weird, that one dynamic in like teen shows where it's, it's, um, like the hot cheerleader girl and then this fucking weird nerd guy. I've realized that. And I think that's actually really funny. I feel like I should get another picture of him because he is not a cowboy. Um, that's just how he was drawn in that piece of art. But I think it's funnier if I just leave it. I think it's just ten times funnier if I just leave him as a cat boy here. Oh, and then speaking of uh, Archimedes, bam, here he is as an actual cat boy. Who knows, I might make an animation of him dancing. And then only use that in combat situations because I think that's funny. But here he is. He sits there and he does nothing. He does not file taxes. He doesn't help with taxes. I was going to say he doesn't help with the rent. He probably does. Can we punch him into the sky? Jesus. What do I think? I don't know if he's um a marketable plushie. I don't know if we can get him in marketable uh, plushy form, hun. I'll I'll see what I can do though. You know, 
<laughs> Wait, hold on. Look at him go! Look at him go! He's been... He's having a good time, man. He's not here against his will, I swear. He's, he's so happy to be here. Look at it. He's so happy to be here. Can't you tell how happy he is to be here? He's he's 100% not being held hostage. He just he just wants to hang out, man. You know, I'm tempted to throw this into, uh, like, throw her into Live 2D. Not Live 2D, this is Live 2D. Um, in VTube Studio and test her out. There's not a lot to test out, but you know. We'll, we'll finish up her neck rig first. And then we'll throw her into Live 2D. This is not Live 2D. Am I dying of dementia? What the fuck? This is life, GD. I am just... Not a lot is happening in my brain right now, man. Not a lot. I think that's... Incredibly cursed. You know what, I think it'd be better if I try to fix you here first. And then if it doesn't work, uh, I'll just look at, um, Uriel's model for reference. Yeah, I might need to lower the head down, too, because I don't... It feels even more cursed if I just were to leave it like this. I don't want to say it. <sighs> say it. Say it. Say it. Just say it. Commit the sin, man. God damn it! Why? Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do these things? Look, you didn't need to type it! You didn't need to say that, man! You didn't need to, but you did! You did anyway!
It's not my fault. It is your fault. How dare you? Not your fault. How? Explain that to me. How is that not your fault? I didn't make it look that- You said it! You still said it! I didn't want to- Well, you said it! The point still stands, you said it! Alright, I think I'm gonna work on her a little bit more, and then we'll, uh, end stream, because I am icky. I'm feeling icky. Like, ickier, I guess? I don't know if I sound it, but I feel it. It's time for the Tums, Jesus. I mean, I'm not bad, I'm just like... Eat the chop. <laughs> Let the intrusive thoughts win, eat the chalk. Like, I'm not sick sick. It's just like... I Actually, I might be. I don't know, man. I've been stressed non-stop for the past several weeks. Um, not from streaming or anything, it's from schoolwork, mostly. So, who knows, my body can finally just be like, Hey, stop it. St stop it. We're gonna self-destruct if you don't stop. I don't know how I feel about being able to, like, see her hair through that.
like I don't think I'm getting worse. I think my talking is a little better because before it was really bad. Um, I don't know, man. I just feel like I'm going to sneeze every two times that I talk, you know? And I also, I need to get started on her actual model. I don't... Should should I really go the extra mile and make her a full body? Probably. Probably, maybe. Is it required? No, she just needs to be like a half body. Do I want to? Yes, absolutely. Because I, I love her. I, I love her, man. I love her. I love everything about her. And I can't wait for for all of her happiness and all that stuff to be absolutely destroyed the second um, the campaign starts. I am so excited for that, man. I've been told she gets, like, bits and pieces of joy but, like, this is not a happy, fun campaign, so... I- I can't wait for it, man. And then, uh, I will let you guys know, uh, I have to play two characters for this, uh, campaign, actually. Uh, I will not be saying when, uh, where, or uh, who the other character is, because, of course, I'm playing Jen. Um, but I will be playing also another character. Uh, I won't be saying why either, but I am so excited to play uh, that character. They've been on the bench uh, for my D&D characters for way too long. I can't wait to let them have a little bit of fun. I, I love to think of my D&D characters as sitting in a void, just waiting, and this boy has been there way too long, man. It's, it's enrichment time. Is it really bad if it's enrichment time for them? Okay, her little things... Uh, have gone down her little her little tufts. So we're just gonna whoop. Oh, I can't actually. I can. This has nothing to do with the campaign, other than her hair being slightly different. Um, the little the little tufts she's got, um, are meant to be based on the uh, like Afro space buns. Uh, it's just. Uh, the rest of her hair is straight because she's fried it. She has fried her hair with hair dye and bleach. That um, pretty much best visual I can give is she had to cut most of it off and then uh, grow it back. So, yeah. That's what she spent her 30 years doing, I guess. Like, not 30 years, her, like, 10 years doing is growing back her hair after she fried the hell out of it. It was, it was a high school slash, um, college decision. It was a not smart idea. And now her, her hair had to pay. It's fine, though. She's, she's still slaying. Which, really, is all that matters. I can't- oh, actually, yeah, I can't wait until I get to homebrew, uh, her stuff, too. Cause I- I have to homebrew, um, high heels as a weapon. Cause while she doesn't wear mo- she doesn't wear shoes on the chibi one, um, she does wear a pair, like a pair of stiletto heels.
Yeah, so she will be using them as a weapon to stab with. <laughs> um, I don't know if they are actually stilettos, but it, uh, they're specifically the ones with the red pumps. I don't know if stiletto... Is, stiletto is a type of shoe, right? It's a type of shoe, it's not a brand. The one that I'm thinking of is the brands with the red bottoms. Be expensive, guys. That's That's all I can tell you about shoes, is that I know that... Uh, the red bottom ones are expensive. Maybe? I don't know, man. Half the time, I don't think about what my characters are wearing. I just put them in a pair of sneakers. For her, I'm like, Look, the apocalypse is happening. She's got a sleigh. Luigi. <laughs> if the apocalypse must happen, she must slay. You know, if God sends her to hell, she'll- she'll just say no. I'm tempted to make her hair kind of like Studio, uh, like Studio Ghibli hair. You know, where it gets all- it gets all poofy and stuff. I've been wanting to rig a model like that for a while now, and I just haven't- I haven't even done that with my own model because, um, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> what job did she have? Um, she was a child pageant star. Um, she then went on a few different TV shows and movies, child actor. Um, and then when she hit 20, she finished up, like, a few, uh, major productions and then does, like, modeling on the side. And then the apocalypse hit! Now, she's 32, and, um, it's just, she's just dealing with the apocalypse. With, uh, with her bisexual wife that is not a wife. <laughs> Her bisexual wife that is just her bisexual husband. She is a girl boss and we we have to stand her. There's we don't have a choice. We have to. Alright, her hair is done. Look at this lad, man! I wanna- I... Here's the thing, um... I don't know how frequent that's gonna happen. It would, it would make sense if people did, but like, I have yet to talk to my DM about that. I would assume not. And or people are just like, it's the middle of the apocalypse. That is not what is important. Uh, there is a character, a few, two, four, how many, how many is in that household? Five, five, four-ish characters that will probably recognize her. Not for good reasons, not for happy fun reasons, for bad reasons, my god. <laughs> Oh, you know what I want to animate her to? Um, what was that one clip from Breaking Bad that went popular? The one where it's like, my name is Scarlet. Like, what was it? Like, I don't remember. It's something, it's like, my name is something white, yo. <laughs> I want to animate her to that. <laughs> I don't watch Breaking Bad, but I don't know, man. That seems like a fun scene to animate.
You know what? I feel like he should not follow the laws of tracking. Where he should not move with her head. She's like... <laughs> pop star i mean she has canonically made music and um uh it started off similar to like um a hannah montana thing and then uh as as she got to like 20 it it has pretty much devolved it went from hannah montana uh to like a melanie martinez all the way down to like mitski let's be honest That should tell you guys enough. Just the- She went from Hannah Montana to Melanie Martinez to Mitski. Probably mixed with some, um... With some scene queen, because I love scene queen, man. Is it gonna pop up? I don't know if it's gonna pop up. Okay, I don't think it's gonna pop up. <laughs> I look at my DM just immediately t he- he just immediately goes, Mitski is canon in the campaign! <laughs> she would have been I, I love though. My DM is not signed onto his Twitch account, so he is he is not using his Twitch account to mention any of this. This is only through Discord that he's going. Mitski is canon. <laughs> I don't watch JoJo. I don't know what the hell a stand is. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is, man. You know what? I was gonna make her. You know what? Now that he, now that he's asking and telling me that Mitski is canon, um, I will not be referencing Mix Mitski in anything that she says or or even her voice, man. I was I was practicing her voice and I'm like, oh, I could make her kind of sound like Mitski in a in a little bit, like have um a, a Mitski vibe. No, nah, she's she's just gonna be purely scene queen now. Like, hold on, you know what? I'm gonna read out to you guys, um, her entire Spotify, <laughs> uh, her, her Spotify, um, playlist. I just need to log into Spotify, man. I'm so ashamed. I use the YouTube playlists at this point. Like, I'm not gonna log into Spotify again, YouTube. <laughs> Ski vibe. I love- I love just going from- from, uh, reading chat to just going all the way over to Discord and having to read that, too. That's fun. Why aren't you letting me log in? Let me log in. <laughs> Give her the- Okay, you know what? <sighs> she can have Mitski as a treat, you know what? As a treat, she can have Mitski. Because, I mean, she's not going to get a lot of treats throughout this campaign, so why not? Why not give her a bit? Scene, scene Queen Mitski sounds like a nightmare, I've realized. Like, that kind of sounds terrifying.
like fun but terrifying. Alright, hold on. I need to reset my entire password now on Spotify. Great. Fun times, man. I just wanted to read out the Spotify playlist. That's all I wanted to do in life, man. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello, Remy. Hi. I was I was gonna read off um Jennifer's Spotify playlist, but now I have to reset my Spotify uh, password, which is great. What if I just banned you right now? <laughs> what if I just what if I just hit you with the ban hammer like right now? No, no more stream for you. I think that'd be funny. I think that'd be silly. I think that'd be funny and silly. And, you know, just a, just a little haha. -ha. A little funny, a little silly. Okay, okay, I, I will not instantly ban you. Instead, I'm gonna sit here uh, after stream and I will write um, some some uh, little teehee evil little evil little um, angst for you. Cause I think that would be funny. There we go. Finally, hello Spotify. Nice to see you again. Why? Why not? See. Streamlabs, a bot wants me to do it, so I'll do it, man. <laughs> Not the tears. I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be silly. Some funny, some silly, some teehee. Yeah, though, I... Jennifer's playlist is an absolute mess, man. We have, like, Scene Queen on here, uh, Graveyard Guy... I forgot I had Olivia Rodrigo on here too. And then and then we have like a a bit of whiplash, honestly. Um We have Jack Stopper. Um Scott Pilgrim is on here too, by the way. It's Bro, it's a it's a bit of a mess, but it's a fun mess. It's a mess I enjoy listening to. There is there is like I think only one Mitski song on that playlist though, and it's um uh it's me and my husband, so that should be enough for you guys. That's that's enough Mitski. More scene queen. But yeah. You should have that one, that one Beyonce. What one Beyonce song? What are you talking about? I don't know the one. You need to send it to me. I don't listen to Beyonce. 
So, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. Okay, <laughs> hold on, let me just... Let me... You know what? I'm just gonna screenshot the entire thing that they've sent me. And I will be putting it on, on stream. Maybe keeping it! I might keep it on stream. I think it's... I, I like this message. Yeah, just send it to me when you remember. And mayhaps... <laughs> mayhaps it will be added. Alright. This whole stream is being taken over. Oh, no, I absolutely know you won't remember. You know what? I'll I'll ask you on, like, who's not Tuesday, Thursday. I'll be like, hey, you remember that one song you, you, um, you wanted? Remember that one song? Oh no, I've disappeared. God damn it. Are you back or are we still- we're back. Don't know what the hell that was about. You know what? I've been thinking, um, for- for the Domino's, uh, Miku ad that's, uh, on stream now, uh, I'll be voicing over most of it, um, to- to avoid copyright. <laughs> Because I am kind of scared that that'll set off copyright uh, if I upload the stream to YouTube. But uh, if that's the case, um, Remy, I don't know if Remy remembers, Remy volunteered to sing it, man. Remy volunteered to sing uh, the part where Hatsune and Miku sings. So have fun with that, my guy. Oh no. Auto <laughs> tune it. Put a robot voice filter over it, man. It's it's funny. Um I was on Rhea's stream for uh like the golf with friends portion. Um and I know there I said I would read a book. I'd read a book, uh like and record the whole thing and post it on YouTube as an audiobook. Um but also, I said that I would be, um... I mentioned the whole, um, thing with Raul, like, asking me to do boyfriend ASMR. So, that... I've already mentioned it now on Rhea's stream, and like, three times here, so I think I've set it in stone. It will be really shitty. Intentionally. Really bad. Um... Who knows, it might just be bad, though. Uh, and if that's the case, then at that point, at that point, I would have fully entered my cringe territory. So why not also include um, potentially doing a karaoke stream and or just me singing a few My Chemical Romance songs? Because why not? Cringe culture is dead. Either that or I am cr cult uh, cringe culture. I don't know, man. I want to be Burger King. What, do you want to have, like, a whole plot thing? I don't know, man. What do you want? Like, you're already getting boyfriend asmr of me. I have, like, jokingly started to write um, a script, so I'm, I'm probably like, going to keep it under, like, Two minutes. Cowboy ASMR. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> I 
can't tell if that's a thing you want me to do or what, man. <laughs> so my blood remember McDonald's. <laughs> it's Rihanna. <laughs> I'm so glad you remembered, because I would have forgotten, my guy. Um, you know what? I have made the joke before to some of my friends I would have a Donathon stream before I had a, um, like, before I fully opened up, um, my, how are they called? Um, the, the, uh, Twitch thing that lets me have emotes. I'm blanking on it now. Um, affiliate. And honestly, you know what? I might make those two, um, very, very low, um, uh, rewards on there where it's like, hey, if we get to this amount, I will do an entire fucking ASMR video, um, where I become a cat boy and <laughs> gaslight you. <laughs> Because that sounds funny and stupid and really bad. And at the very least, it's getting a few laughs out of people. I just went just saying, like, Thank you, Virus. <laughs> I need to record that again in better quality. I'll keep the original, but it's like, this is somewhat better quality. Is it good? No, it's bad. It's really bad, and it shouldn't be played ever, but it's better quality. <laughs> Smart, Archie! Alright, see ya, Remy. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Don't die. Hopefully you're feeling uh, better. Bye bye Battle of the fast food cults. Look, if you want me to do that, you're writing the script, man. Gosh, writing. Yeah, I was supposed to make a VTuber dating sim, and then I spent time trying to learn how to use that program that I was using, and it never happened because that program, um, I looked into it, and then I'm like, oh, it's like, it was like, I don't even remember what I was using, um, but it was like a paid subscription thing, and I'm like, oh yeah, this, this shouldn't be too bad, uh, and then after a while, I'm like, you are not using this program at all. Why are you still paying for it? So, I might remake it, but make it, like, the shittiest thing ever, man. Just for fun. If I was reminded about it, I would have made it for, like, April Fools. I made it really fast. Why not use Google Slides? Because that feels really cursed if I were to use Google Slides. But then I could send it to only my friends, so... You know what? Actually, I might. I might just use Google Slides. And then only my friends can play it. As like a, hey, here's a belated April Fool's thing. Sorry, I didn't do this earlier.
I know the only thing I will 100% guarantee is I will uh, reread a book. <laughs> That's about it. Will I will I read it on stream or read it uh, out loud at all? Probably not, but I will be rereading books that I enjoy. So there's that. Like, bro, I I I miss reading The Outsiders, man. I have the book. I bought the book. I just don't have the energy to read it. But man, do I want to. I know how to read. I just can't read most of the time. Because my brain won't pick up on certain words, so I just don't. I love this man. He's so silly. If we flip him, yeah, he's a little cursed. Yeah, though, I can read. I can read. I just choose not to because I don't want to. That's, that's pretty much it, man. Like, if I don't gotta, I won't. Like, uh, for English class, I- I decided to, um... Off eyes. No. No. <sighs> for English class, though, I decided instead of reading, you know, a normal-sized book, like a normal person, I would instead, and I got permission to do this, uh, read the entirety of the Indian Act, which is a over 200 page long dossier um, talking about the law itself. And I decided to read that instead of a normal book like a normal person. And I actually had fun reading that. Let me tell you, I actually somewhat didn't enjoy it, but it was interesting. It was a thing that I actually wanted to read, so that was fun. Yeah, though, I read it in the span of, like, um, a semester. So I will give my pro myself props to that, man. That's the most I will ever read in my entire life. <laughs> what do you mean, how? I showed up to class every day and we got, like, 15 minutes to read the book. So I read the book. And then I'd read the book outside of school because I enjoyed it. And then I'd read it during uh, like people's presentations that I didn't like. And I'd read it instead of Romeo and Juliet too because I hate that book. I am not a fan of Romeo and Juliet. I think it's stupid that it's still made mandatory to read. It's dumb. I don't respect Romeo and Juliet, man. Don't respect it. He's so stupid looking, I love him. Oh yeah, documents are really annoying to read. They're really sad and unpleasant and not fun to read, but like, you find one you like and you like it. In a weird way. I don't think I can justify myself on this, actually. You know, we're gonna already set up this stuff to, like, be rigged. I don't want- I don't know how well that's gonna break it up, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, it's like the skinning mesh is not properly connected. Where are you not properly connected? Where are you broken?
I don't know, man, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, though, I read that. I read that legal document. Uh, and then... I also read... Um... For a history assignment, I read, um, a case from the Starlight Tours, which I don't want to elaborate on what the Starlight Tours were too, too much, because they're not really fun to look into, and they're really sad. Um, but pretty much to summarize, um, really bad shit from the Saskatoon police, um, some really, really scummy shit from them. Uh, if you want to look into it, do it, man. It's, it's really good to look into. It's just not fun. You know, it's not a, it's not a fun, happy thing, man. But I was looking into it because, um, I, okay. So for some context, I hate my history teacher. Hate him. He sucks. He's racist. I don't respect him. Um... However, for the final assignment that he gave us, um, he let us talk about whatever we wanted to. Uh, the main theme is it had to be Canadian history from, like, I think he said the 50s to the early 2000s was what we could cover. And the case that I was covering happened in the 90s, so I was allowed to cover it. Yeah, it still says it's not fully connected. Um, so I covered the Starlight Tours, and I found a legal document um, that, again, I think was like 600, over 600 pages. Um, all about the entire case. It had a signature from the judge that covered the case, um, yeah, it had so much really interesting shit, uh, and included, uh, photos from the case, which were not pleasant remotely, um, testimony statements, uh, interviews with families, like, it, it contained all that shit. And so I picked that as my main form of evidence as to why, like, we had to explain why it was significant, so that was my main form of evidence. And so I spent my time uh, reading through a over 600 page long document um, for one assignment for a teacher that I don't respect and don't think deserved that much of my time. Yeah, it's like, hey, it's still not there. What if I make you a whole bunch of tiny ones? Will then you- will you work then? No. Why won't you? Yeah, it was just straight up pure spite. And I sped through reading that document, man. And originally my grade in his class, because I wasn't handing in assignments because he wasn't actually telling us to hand them in, um, he was just being like, here's the assignment. Uh, I'm not telling you guys when the due date is. Uh, so I ended up not handing in a few assignments because he never told us the date. Um, that boosted my grade up to like a 75. 
So, yeah, and then I got to read his criticism about it, and he was like, um, I think you picked a topic, like, it was something on the lines of, like, if you picked a better topic, um, I would have given you more marks. Like, that was what he said to me. It was like, if you picked a better topic, I would have given you more marks. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I slayed that assignment. I am, I am better than this man. I don't like to say that I'm better than people, but I can confirm I am better than, like, a 50-something-year-old man that is incredibly racist. What does that mean? It's his way of saying that I should have picked a topic he liked because he would have given me better marks. Look at his little tail go! He's got a little tail now! Yeah, I read an entire legal document and he was like, eh, if you had better marks. Like, if, if, you, if you picked a better topic, I would have given you better marks. If you weren't a racist asshole, you would have given me better marks. There we go! Look at him go! He's so happy. Having a good time, man. Oh, I forgot to do her angle X. Yeah, so one of these days, I will go up to him and just start yelling at him. One of these days, man. What else happened with that teacher while we're on the topic? Um... Let's see. Um, he did not give us a lot of time because I was in his class when he taught World War II. Um, spent a week actually on, you know, the reason why World War II happened. So, yeah, he talked about that for about a week. Uh, and then the rest of the time we were meant to talk about it, he talked about battles that had nothing to do with Canada, so I don't know why he kept talking about them. But he would not shut up, and I think he deserved to be hit. I think, I think, you know, when I graduate, if he's still teaching there, he deserves to be hit in the face. But the same parent, do you follow him out? Where? Like, I believe in respect and whatever, but, um, some people don't re some people don't deserve that. You know, they don't deserve respect. They don't- they don't deserve that. They don't deserve to be treated like another human being. <laughs> and in my book, it is, uh, really racist assholes who don't understand that you spent way too much time reading a legal document so that they would shut the hell up. Fun times, man. Fun times. I am so glad I'm not in his class anymore. But, honestly, I would kind of love to be put in his class again so I could scream at him more. Okay, and then Archimedes needs to be added into here. Apparently, he was not added into their Archimedes. Pull yourself together, man. Get with the program. Well, 
Why aren't you there? Wait, what? Oh, that's why. It's because all the head stuff goes first on the list. There we go. Okay, yeah, most of this was added. All right. Yeah, though, maybe when I have the energy, I'll have um, a deranged rant about this man. Okay, you're still not in there. Why? Why aren't you there? It's just the bangs that aren't showing up. Where are you? Yeah, we'll put this in here, and then we'll end stream. Which, I mean, we got pretty far with her so far. I still don't know. Why isn't her mouth showing up? Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. We need to fix the head rotations. Where is Yeah, and then I just need to pretty much rig her mouth and then the rest of her body and then we can have fun. Yippee. Alright, I forgot though, her head won't turn. Like, her head will do this and then. Shoot. Alright, we're gonna have to set up all the deformers and stuff because they're not working anymore. That is annoying. You know what? We'll fix that later, because, like, I am getting very tired. Alright, 
right, so I don't know what's happening with that. Why are you doing that? That is terrifying. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to save and we are going to uh, find somebody else who is streaming and we're going to raid them because uh, my body is starting to give out. And maybe, maybe I'll have a nap. I'll try to have a nap. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try. I make no promises. And then you know what while we're here, we're gonna we're gonna come over here. Whoa! I look massive. Also, I need to redo this background. I've been needing to forever, man. Yeah, it's time for my body to crash. I have been crashing non-stop for the past several days. Oh, you know who- We have not raided him in a while, so... Hold on, we're gonna... I'm forgetting pronunciations right now, I'm blanking on them. But we're gonna go raid him. It'll- it'll show you his name in the thing, I'm just forgetting right now. Blanking on pronunciations. My brain is starting to decay. It's starting to decay, to evaporate, to become a moldy cheese on the sidewalk. But yeah, right now they're playing 100% orange juice, which never heard of, but that sounds fun. So you know what? We're gonna read them. Because it's been a while, I'm blanking on pronunciations, and now I feel super bad, so we're we're 100% rating now. Well, bam! The thingy thing. The, the thingy thing has been has been done. And then we have we have the raid message too. Which yeah, it's it's updated. It's nice, it's cool. When I get emotes, uh I say when. If I decide to go through the whole process and get emotes. Um, I'll add them. I'll add two different versions. But yeah, so we're raiding. Um, I am gonna head out and I'm gonna crash for a bit. It's not nighttime. I'm just gonna crash. Um, and then I'll be up and at it again to work on the model a little bit more and to to work on some art for you guys. Actually, I also need to work on my trailer. D Surprise! I never mentioned this. I have a trailer uh, that's coming out. So I will send the work in progress video in the Discord. Um, but yeah. So there you guys go. Hope you have fun. Um, watching what seems to be like a board game. I don't know, man. But it seems fun. But yeah. So I'm gonna head out. Um, take a nap. Take some... Uh, sore throat medication and yeah alrighty goodbye have fun bye bye